All right, today we're going to talk about the Soulfire. Now, the first thing I want to show you is um, what you can actually do when you walk up to the Soulfire. Like if you're not in a party with friends or anything like that, then you can actually interact with others that are around the Soulfire. Um, so if I walk up to it, you'll see a little yellow indication above my head. That means that my mic is now not muted to other players. So anybody that's around this area can hear exactly what I'm saying. I mean, of course, you can mute your mic so that others can't hear you. But just be warned that whenever you go to near a soul pyre and you don't have your mic muted or you're not in a party, everybody around that pyre is going to be able to hear what you're saying. All right, so we'll get on into it. We can, uh, if you're on PlayStation, you can press uh, square when you're up at the soul pyre. And bring up a menu. You can salvage items. Um, like these pants right here. I don't need these panties, so we'll go ahead and uh, salvage those for cores. And of course, cores is what you use to upgrade weapons and equipment. You can also salvage uh, appearance cards, especially if you have an appearance card that can be bought in an Illumina shop. Um, they can actually drop really good items. And if you want to make sure that stuff is not getting salvaged that you need, you can actually lock your equipment. So if I go to equipment here, and like, I use this for gathering or whatever, so I don't, I definitely don't want to salvage these. Um, I can click on options. I can unlock it, and that would make it to where it can be salvaged. Click on options again, I'm going to lock it back. And then that way, when you go to the soul pyre and you go to salvage, it won't let you salvage it. All right. You can also sit and share food. Um, if you're doing a dungeon or something like that, right now, the, is, there's a glitch in the game. Like if I go to share food in the first slot and then somebody comes in right behind me and shares food in the same slot, then mine will be taken over by theirs. So then you just wasted your food. So right now, until that glitch is fixed, it's best to actually just go to the last one or a different one than the first one and share food. That way that doesn't happen to you. Um, but yeah, you can uh, share food and it tells you what it actually does. Um, this is can gather uh, login speed. Um, let's do something I don't want to waste. Okay, so this defense, it gives everybody that eats this 160 defense for 60 minutes. And it's for up to 20 players. So I can go ahead and share that. And you see the pot that comes above the fire. That's an indication to let you know that there's food there to be shared. And you can go ahead and eat. And you don't have to sit there and wait for the eating. Um, you can get up at any time and you'll automatically have that buff. You can also cook at the bonfire or the pyre. You can cook lunch boxes, uh, the shared meals. And you can cook crafting materials to make different things and bait for fishing. And now, um, this this wasn't uh, something that we used to be able to do in the past, but you can actually change your blessing at the pyre. We used to only be able to um, change our blessings at the altars, which are these right here. But now you can actually do it at the pyre. So that is also very helpful. And that is everything about the pyre today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.